So I'm gonna go make a chicken tikka masala curry. I popped two Ashlands earlier and I went and bought one of those uh, tikka masala sauces that they do in a pot in the Ashlands slimming roll range. So I thought be an easy curry then, because all, all I've got to do really is just uh, is just cook the chicken and the veg, pour the sauce over the top. Chicken curry, that easy. So guys, I've got mushrooms is my speed, I have baby corn is my speed, and I have frozen mixed peppers as my speed for the curry. So what we're going to do is just get a knife and obviously cut up the mushrooms. I like to have mine in like little quarters. So just like that. Good old mushrooms. So just do it to all of those ones quickly because it's getting late, it's gone like 8 o'clock but to be quite honest earlier I was having uh, some really horrible pains in my tummy so I, I wasn't hungry and I didn't feel like eating but and then I remembered that uh, the chicken and all the, the fresh veg needed to be used and obviously now my stomach's not hurting because I took painkillers and now I'm a bit I'm a bit peckish so I thought let's have a curry so what I'm gonna do is cut the core like that just quickly Jubbly. As good old Del Boy would say. Right. So let's get the fire in the pan. Here's my uh, Jamie Oliver pan. I love this pan. A nice little bargain I got from Tesco, as you see. These pans are 40 quid. I got it for 20 pound half price. You know me, I like a good old bargain. As Kirsty always tells me. So let's wipe this on, preheat the pan. I'm gonna go Ramsgate soon actually to, to go and see them all. Right. Next step is uh, the chicken, the bit I hate. This is the part I hate. Right. Got to get all that crap off. So I can start cutting up the chicken. Change of plan. Um, the chicken was a bit off, so don't know how I only, I only opened it late last night. Um, but it's off anyway, so I'm gonna do a beef curry instead. So I've uh, just took out 200 and something grams, believe it or not, that should be enough for me. So I've got my vegetables there, so I'm just gonna quickly put this in the frying pan now. I said I've never done a base before, but I actually do base because the chicken was off. So I've now added the mushrooms, baby corn and mixed peppers into the beef. As you can see guys, it's coming along very nicely now. Like I said, I've never done a beef curry before, but it's all the same, isn't it really? It's just different meats. 
But I've never done it with this sauce before, so it's going to be interesting to, to what it tastes like. So guys, what I've done is I just poured the, the tikka masala sauce over the top. I'm going to quickly give that a little stir. There we go guys. So I'm just going to, I don't know, leave that in there for, I don't know, a few minutes. Maybe five minutes to simmer. Not that it needs to, but just, you know, get it all warmed up. As you see that's coming along very nicely, so just a few more minutes and then I can serve it up with some rice. Rice is just in the microwave as we speak. So there you go guys, dinner is served. So we've got a nice uh, beef tikka masala with rice. And I've got a Pepsi Max as well. So that is my dinner. Well guys, that was really delicious beef tikka masala. Like I said, I mean, I had the sauce, I had the beef, and then I just chucked in the speedy vegetables to go with it. And the microwave raw rice, I mean, easy. I mean, all of that took, what, 20 minutes? A nice, quick, easy curry to make. So I highly recommend it. I mean, like I said, it's easy. I mean, if if you're against time, it's quick quickly. So uh, I'm going to end today's video now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you again tomorrow. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye.